Juice has the escape mechanism. Does have perfect CS for the first two waves and has that bottle rush. So Stormstormer, he's probably just going to look to get his farm and, and take over the map more than necessarily shut Thompson down. Yeah. I mean, if you can get to some BKBs on the side of Entity, you're, you're having a pretty good time in the team fight, I think. But this is another game where Tundra can play really fast and already once more nine off to a pretty fast start, though Watson will get the rebuttal. If you're looking at Fury on Monkey King supports, this is a support duo that wants to just come out guns blazing and run the map over. Especially here, not the move that Stormstormer really wanted out of this one as he runs into nine. He's gonna try and chase him down and might be successful in doing so. He's I mean, getting he sticky napalms on him. He wants wisdom rune. Oh yeah, he does. You're right. Thompson's gonna be able to make the connection though. Try to go for it, push him away, but it's not good enough. They grab the lasso. That will burn out 33 ever so barely, but it is not looking great for Entity as uh, not only do they claim that wisdom rune of theirs. Oh, that's a Fishman highlight reel if I've ever seen one. That, uh, yeah, that genuinely is. <laughs> That's that's why that man dies so much. So when he does die at the right time, it makes you work for it. Yeah, he's very practiced at it. Very sacrificial player, snaking. Gonna be pulled back. The X Torrent. Not a problem for Gabby. That that is also gonna be an issue. I guess you've got the the combination of damage over time. You got the fire and water. You got the water part combined with the damage over time from this Bat Rider. So they've got a ton of area that is just gonna be tons of damage being thrown around. You don't want to play into it. Probably some lore implications. Watson gets the Doom implication here. Sling yeah, and Skeeter knows. Hey, if they're making the move in the top lane, they're not trying to help out their carry at all. So I've got a magic wand windlace and then some consumables. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. Another self stun. Just so Skeeter's sure. spending so much trying to dodge, but There's some damage. the success. Oh no, not so successful. Watson gets off the Sunder last second. And again, where's the connection for these plays, right? If Thompson's going in, he's going to fight this with an ult. Yeah. I mean, I, Thompson's figures like if he dies there, I mean, what are you supposed to do, right? You can't stop playing Dota just because someone gets a rune. Another self stun. Pulls him back pretty deep here. That's going to be into the X mode as well. An additional bit of burst damage. Is it enough? The raindrop helping to protect him, but the damage over time does do its work. Tundra are here with all four heroes, though, so maybe they can collect on Gabby, but now Entity, the supports are showing up. Oh, immediate doom put onto the Undying. No tombstone here, it seems. Didn't even have it. <laughs> I don't know if they had that read, but nonetheless, they will shut Fishman down. Shows up to that fight and instantly gets met. The Doom. Doom on their side as well. This is a lineup with Furion on top of all of that. It's supposed to be printing money constantly. And the net worth chart is pretty much even. They have a thousand net worth lead, but it's really not as much as it needs to be. Another pickoff here. Doom is going to be found here in the top lane. Entity are bringing a lot of heroes to these kills constantly, which is another reason why they're not able to quite keep up with Tundra in net worth. But turning that kill into a Roshan is a uh, nice little move that you could do with an Undying. Stormstormer's gonna need some help with the mid lane, though, and they're already seeping to try and hit, bail him out. They're gonna catch nine as he tries to get away, but pulled back by the X. How was that defusal rush for the monkey? This is nine wanting to get aggressive on the map, try and force something. It's just gonna turn into space off the death, I guess. Because of it, it's true. These so the highlights of Snaking's career, though. Tundra want to draw out the game. Is that what you're saying? That's a shocker. Well, yeah. <laughs> Jump in. Practice. As we say that, they're the ones to make a quick move to blow up Fishman. Does he get caught on the way out, though? Katoomi, if he gets close enough, he gets the swap in. Good with the Wukong's man. They don't give a damn, apparently. Katoomi swaps back to Batrider. Finished off nine before he gives up his life for that. So one for one in the supports there after Fishman dies. Tundra, our position to hit the tower some more, which is a very interesting item. Yeah. He may have the good oh, matchup wow. against Alchemist, but against That's everybody else. And even that matchup is not, it's not like some crazy deciding matchup. If the Alk can pick and choose when he goes in, he doesn't have to be the first contact. Like Skeeter jumping in with six slots on anybody is going to be pretty scary this game. He'll find a freebie here. This is where the map becomes very difficult to play, and it, it falls back to Stormstormer. Can he continue to find pickoffs and close out the lanes with this Batrider threat? It looks like it's not going to be totally free. Katomi goes through the portal and catches Snaking on the other side. So they'll get support for support, five for five. 
but it does leave just more space. They see a lot of heroes. They get a lot of information on the side of Tundra, and that's more time where Skeeter knows he's free to farm. <laughs> yeah, actually, this might be like the lowest hero <laughs> damage that Zeus has ever done by 34 minutes because Tundra are just not fighting. They are playing a game that is very different, which is... Uh, they're trying to fight this. They are, they are, they're actually doing a lot of damage. The supports are getting a little bit low, and all of a sudden, 33 and Thompson, they both show up to this fight. Immediately, Doom gonna put on to the Batrider, forcing out that BKB. Katomi will eventually die underneath the acid spray. And Skeeter, he, he knows Stormstorm has to heal right now. Why not force the issue? Got up the blade mail before he got stunned. Blocked out by the Sprout, really can't go too far. But he can push him inside the base. What a brilliant move from Gabby. Watson Ooh, really takes advantage of that and he brings down 33. Slows down Skeeter a little bit. Can he catch up though? He needs no more teammates. Nothing to stick with the Scotty on the Terrorblade if he doesn't have the range. Wow, that entity on the low ground right. here really grouped up. Yeah, oh boy, this is opportunity. Eight. Surely Skeeter jumps immediately trying to blow up the undying but a swap back in from Katahomi is going to be able to bail him out the X marks the spot pulls Skeeter back in but look at knife back. he got the Junter in with the Wukong's command but the Alchemist is being blown apart by the Watson they have the control and they have the damage and they will make good work of it this is the opening the entity has been waiting for finally Tundra made a move tripped over their own feet and now entity will take Lincoln's 33 actually making the jump in here, seeing if they can finish off Watson without using the jump, but he gets off the Sunder, and that's now trouble. E4 step down, Skeeter. Oh, anyway. tidal wave trying to get him, pull him out. Boat coming in. There's the water park. It's, it's not something back. they can fight into, so it's going to be a die back on Skeeter. Nobody can come in and save him. And look at Watson. He doesn't give a damn about that, too. He just seems on going to town. Now he's going to run down Thompson as well. Looks to be able to toss himself up in the air. Enough time for a jump. Can he jump away? He's got it now, but he'll fall anyway. And that's no buyback on him. Two heroes, no buyback. The most farmed heroes on the side of Tundra. And grab that third core. Pull him back in. Tundra have totally fallen apart. They push this game a solid 40 minutes. But in two, it'll end. They have Doom by with no Doom. Meta be damned, Watson's gonna end this game right here, right now. They surely are. X marks the spot with the swap going out there. Wukong's man, but it's a support monkey game. Who yeah. cares? Ignore it. Watson is ending this game right now. There's nothing you can do to stop him. Throw all the spells you want. You don't have the stuns. You don't have the damage to stop this terror blade. He still has no meta. Yeah, he's doing it all melee style. It just doesn't damn matter. You don't have a single carry left in this game to fight the one that is the rank one Watson. And that is it. it. The TI-11 winners are eliminated by...